What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Beautiful Beer Review channel. Tonight we're going to dive into a semi-local to me. Coming out of Huntsville is Straight to L Brewing Velvet Evil. I believe this is the first time in cans. I've never had this beer before. I don't know how I missed it all the times before, but I did. Um, here's the can. Pretty nice can right here. The can actually has some texture, which is weird. The velvet evil part kind of feels uh, bubbly, if you will, on the can, which I thought was strange. Uh, this was canned 2217 TCB Baby. Uh, picked this up at Hop City off the singles section that they have there. Um, this is an old ale, right? Yeah. Old ale brewed with chocolate, raspberries, and coffee. So I'm not super familiar with the old L style, um, but I love chocolate, raspberries, and coffee. So, uh, I mean, from what I've read, old L's are really malt forward. So we'll see how this one plays out. Let's get it into the glass. All right. So we got about a finger of tannish, like off-white head. Um, body is pretty, like ruby, almost, like a really dark red. Got a little bit of, actually a decent bit of light coming through. I can see Hop City through the glass, but really dark, dark, dark ruby red, almost. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. But anyway, there it is. Head dissipating kind of quick, but let's get a nose on it. I don't know what the ABV of this is, now that I said that. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't see an ABV on the can. I'll look it up and post it in the comments underneath, though. How about that? So anyway, let's get a nose. All right, smells like a chocolate-covered raspberry, pretty much. Um... First thing I get is that sweet raspberry maltiness going on as well. Decent dose of chocolate and mild notes of some sweet coffee as well. Um, very malty nose for sure. Yeah, not, not, I mean, that's pretty much, I mean, straightforward what it says. I don't know if you can see that, that head is almost completely gone. And there's maybe just a lacing left, and that's about it. All right, let's get a taste. Oh, wow. Very, very interesting. So first off, let me address the mouthfeel, because this Velvet Evil... That's pretty dead on. This mouth feels really smooth, velvety kind of creaminess going on. Um, the front end of this beer. is big malty sweetness. The back end is that chocolate, raspberry sweetness as well. Just a really, really big big malt backbone to this beer um god i don't know what the abv is but there's a i feel like i don't know like a little bit of booze too as well like some not in a bad way but a little bit of heat coming off the back end but the predominant flavors in the body are malts and raspberry a good dose of chocolate a small hint of coffee not as much at coffee in the in the in the taste as there was in the nose um but overall i'm digging this beer i like this style it's it's weird though because i'm not really used to drinking um like super malty um, ford beers and this is definitely big time malts um like big, not like not like um, Belgian yeast, but like definitely some yeasty 
maltiness, thickness going on in this beer. But yeah, I dig this beer. Really good. Um, I'm going to go... I'm going to go four. Four out of five. Uh, really pleasant. I'm enjoying it. I would pick this up again for sure. All right. So maybe a gas station episode tomorrow. We shall see. Until next time, y'all. Cheers.